I remember having uh, Rain and Blood on cassette and just wearing it out. I just remember being blown away and I could not believe that dudes could play that fast and, and just sound that absolute evil. I mean, there was that sense of just, I mean, it was, the music was heavy, but just the vibe that I got from it was super heavy and I've carried that all throughout my career. Rain and Blood is another record that my older brother would that had he'd listen to it all the time. And I, and uh, when I was growing up, that was the most dangerous record to listen to. That was like the kids in school who were the, you know, the, the you know, the, the, the craziest kids listen to Slayer. So I got into it, listened to it, fell in love with it. I was heavily, heavily influenced by Slayer, the guitar riff and uh, on the Rain and Blood record. I think that's probably the best guitar riff record, in my opinion, of all time. Again, Slayer was one of those bands that when I first heard it, just melted my mind. And all of a sudden I heard, ta, ta, ta. And he was talking to me over here, ta, ta, ta. And I was like, ta, 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 ta. I was like, <sighs> I'd sit in my room and every time they'd be like, praise hell, Satan, I have to turn it down, <laughs> turn it back up. <laughs> I heard their cover of Abolish Government in the Foundation videos, Escape Order. And to me, that was the sickest song. It was super thrashy, he was pissed. I was like, you know, trying to be politically minded as a, as a, as a kid. I wasn't that familiar with Slayer until I moved to Los Angeles in 86. And I just remember the rabid following that that band had. I saw them play at the forum and I just never seen a pit like that in my life. I mean, it was so violent and so dude oriented. <laughs> like, I, I mean, like the line for the women's restroom was short at the Slayer show. I've been to a number of Slayer shows. I'm always blown away by their power, their intensity, their ferocity. I have never heard a louder sound in my life than the Slayer stage. Like those dudes play so loud, it's hard to fathom. And I and then they just started going and it was like this explosion. I always put on a great show and we, we always been allowed to see them from the side of the stage, but sometimes I want to walk out and see them front stage and get that experience. As I've seen them many times live, they always deliver. Uh, Tom is, uh, fantastic. But I mean, it was just like, it was so much kind of like power and energy and craziness on the stage. And it was one of the most intense things I've ever seen. It's, it's like, for sure the crowd was going off, but watching them was just like... Um, so very good at what they do. Uh, masters of the art. Uh, so dark, uh, so unapologetic in their subject matter, in their creating art, and in their execution. And I remember, I remember Carrie's guitar work on the Beastie Boys record too, which was so, also, just so wild. Really defined the more hardcore end of thrash for generations to come. Truly blazed a trail for heavy music and became, I think it really became godly in a way, like deified on their own terms. I really feel like nobody can say anything about a band that does that. You know, anything that you can, you can try, but they're, I think they're, they're the kings in that, in that way, for sure. Yeah, to me, they, are, they have shaped what heavy metal is, at least in my opinion. And they are uh, probably one of the absolute best heavy metal bands out there. Like as far as a heavy metal band, they, they define the genre to me, they're amazing. Tom's voice is insane. That, you know, scream, yell thing he does is so badass. It's so awesome. But, you know, they're legends and they'll always be legends, but good for them. Good for them to, like, know when they want to call it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that not all of them are going to call it, though. I bet you there's going to be a band that's going to form out of this. Obviously, they're, like, uh, unparalleled, and I think it's... it's uh, on one hand, kind of sad that they're they're ending it, but I mean, give them a break. They did this for quite a while, and they know what's best. I mean, they've proven some as much, so good on them. Yeah, I mean, they're the you know they're the kings of thrash, straight up. And uh, you know, for them to go as long as they did, it's truly incredible. And it sucks to see them go, but you know, I'm glad they're going out on top. It it, it always bums me out when people that I love hang it up but i get it you know um but uh yeah what can you say giants <laughs>